Hi all, today we are going to see how we can set up a Kali machine on a Kali Linux machine on AWS. So first log into your console, then you go to the easy to dashboard, you can search from here and just click on easy to and uh, click on easy to then you go to instances if you have any instances otherwise just launch the instances then just name the server i will just name it as kali then go here ami section and browse more ami then my aws marketplace aws marketplace then you have to download the uh, Kali Linux AMI from the marketplace because there is no AMI available in uh, AWS for Kali. So just search here Kali, search it. It's taking much time. I don't know the reason. Sometime it take. So I don't see any, okay, it's came it. So just click on select. Then you would see the uh, information, your uh, version, Cal Linux version. Uh, and you will see the price also here. So let's just wait it. Apparently it's taking more time than expected zero four six per hour so just continue it's not not selecting so i'm selecting one more time select continue i think i have to wait some more time to okay let's see that aws marketplace emi okay so this is selected So instance type, I will just use it's taking much time. Let's see. And something is wrong. Okay, now it comes up. So I select T2 medium. Then uh, key pair, I will create a new key pair. I will name it as Kali. Uh, Kali server server key. It already exists for me. I will use Kali server key. Kali server key and create key pair. Keep all default options. Kali server key. I create it as a Kali server key. Then uh, this you have to uh, change it later because it will allow connection from anywhere. It's a security threat. So just mention your own IP address over here. And I want to increase my size to 60 GB. You can use as on your requirement. Then uh, launch instances. So it will take. Uh, Few minutes it's so cute so what i will do in the meantime is just uh, copy this kali server key and i put it on a folder here kali server key and i copy here so it is still creating so in the meantime, we can do one thing. So I think, yeah, it's successfully created. So if you go to view all instances, it should load up here. So in the meantime, we use the, uh, the easiest method to connect is to use Putty. Putty software, if you don't have it, just download it. Then what I will do is, first thing is, I will just convert my key to the PPK, that means putty, uh, putty key, the key that we can use on putty. 
uh, my key at the moment is PEM key. If you go here, <laughs> you can see that your keys, <coughs> sorry, PEM dot PEM file. That is the Amazon uh, native key. So to use putty, we need to uh, convert this to PPK. So what I will do is uh, I will go here. I will go to desktop and Kali server key and I would use all file and I use it. Then you will receive a message, just accept it, that's it. Then save private key. Are you sure want to this without a password? Yes. Then I will use it. Kali server key. I will just name it like this. And I save it. So your key is now converted. Here we can see Kali server key. So the next thing is uh, just go here and check the IP address. Here we can see the IP address is 52216156211. So just copy this address and open putty. Paste the IP address here and port number should be 22. The next thing is uh, you have to go to SSH, then authentication, go here, click on authentication, then browse the key and use the uh, desktop, the key we have generated, Kali server key. So just open, let's see. So first time you will receive a message like this. So the default username is Kali. Then you are into the Kali machine, so you can just uh, check what is inside. Nothing is there, so you can just create a, a folder. Kali IR test. See now ls minus l. Okay, you will see the test directory is created. You can create files and. You can do pretty much everything okay so hope you all understand this video and uh, gain some knowledge thank you